Now the second surah of this prayer is Is a sama Bismillah Rahman Rahim Is a sama un fatarat. Now here these ayat this, depicting the condition of that asa are limited in number. Four. There we had so many. But here, very brief. Is a sama un fatarat. When the heaven will be split asunder. Faizal kaba kibun tasarat. And when the stars will be fallen and scattered. Waizal biharu fujjirat. And when the seas and oceans are flowed out and dried up. Waizal kuburu mu'afsirat. And when the graves will be overturned. Alimat nafsumma qaddamat wa akharat. Every soul will know what it sent forward and what it left behind. I described it, explained that these are the two aspects of our deeds that we are doing in this world. One is that we are sending before going to that world, during this lifetime, whatever we are doing, it is going ahead of us. But when we die, we leave something the legacy is there. Maybe we have left something very good and it is very beneficial for the people. Maybe you have established an institution from which the people are benefiting and getting the knowledge of Quran. So this will keep on giving you credit in the books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is what you left behind. Maybe you left your sons and daughters as good Muslims, good Mormons. And so this they will be, which we call Sattai Jariya. This is actually a virtue that will continue, continue, continue. So every soul will come to know what it had forwarded beforehand and what it had left behind. Ya ayyuhal insanu ma gharraka bi rabbikal kareem. This is the third place in the Quran, then this concept is discussed. Oh man, what has seduced you? Regarding your Lord, the gracious. This is a very effective and very dangerous, you know, a attack of Satan. Satan. He says, okay, go on doing what you are doing. Allah is forgiving. Allah is merciful. Don't worry. Go on. Continue. So what he is saying is true. Allah is merciful. No doubt. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us, he is very strict in, in punishment also. Both things have to be kept side by side, simultaneously. And there should be a balance. Ban al khawf wa raja. Otherwise, you will go to this way or that way. You will leave the straight path. It's necessary that you, can, you should have hope. Allah will... Do try as best as you can. And then hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whatever the shortcoming, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive. But also keep the fear, maybe, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala punishes him for that. So Satan would say, go, go, no harm. He, Allah is forgiving, Allah is merciful. Ya ayu al-insan, ma gharra ka bi rabbikal kareem. What has beguiled or seduced you concerning your gracious Lord? Allazi khalaqa ka fasawwa ka fa'adalak. Who created you? Then fashion you. Then proportion you rightly. Fi ayya suratim ma'ashar al-kabak. Into whatever form he willed, he composed you. Whatever features he wanted, he gave you. So, he has done all these things for testing you. And what is the use of testing? If all are going to be forgiven, what's the use? This is all exercise in futility. No. If you are thinking in that way, actually you are belying the reward. Malike Yomiddin. He is the authority for on the day of judgment. But judgment, what's the use of judgment? If there is forgiveness for everybody, then what is judgment for? 
And what this trial? And what this test? Everything becomes absolutely meaningless. But you are belying the reward. Although we have put over you appointed guardians, Kiraman Katebin, surely over you are appointed guardians who are noble writers. You are two of them. They are writing everything, recording everything, every deed of yours. Every action of yours, every word you utter being recorded, Kiraman Kathi, but for them, if no reward is to be given, if no punishment is to be given, then why this? Inna labrara lafi na'im. Surely, people will be divided on that day. The pious shall be in bliss. Who fulfilled their covenant with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, their creator and their master. They will be in bliss, in blessings. Vainal fujara lafi jaheem. And surely, the miscreants, the transgressors, the, those who are disobedient to their Lord, they will be in the hell. Yes, launaha yawmaddeen. And they will enter it on the day of judgment. This is the yawmuddeen, which we say in Surah Al-Fatiha, Maliki yawmuddeen. And once entered it, they will not be absent from it. They will have no place to run, no place to hide, no place to have any refuge. And what will make you realize? How can you imagine what this day of judgment is? Again. How can you visualize, how you can understand what this day of judgment would be? How grave, how hard. That day, the day when no soul should be helpful for another soul. Nobody will be helped to, to help either his father or mother or son or daughter or wife or husband. No, nothing. No soul will have any power to be helpful for the another soul. And the authority and command that day will be exclusively in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Just as we have read before, it will be shouted, called, لِمَنِ الْمُلْكُ الْيَوْمِ لِلَّهِ الْوَاحِدِ الْقَحَّارِ To whom belongs the sovereignty today? In the world you said you are sovereign. But to whom belongs the sovereignty today? لِلَّهِ الْوَاحِدِ الْقَحَّارِ Sovereignty today belongs to only Allah, who is alone, Al-Wahid, Al-Qahar.